Engaging um yale bati make angin ye o bindi yale sanya woloi e nya banga sanya woyo e nya banga sanya woyo mbasia sanya woyo engaging um engaging um Engaging umu mu yale ikbati make anginge ogbindi yale tanya woyo e yambanga tanya woyo e yambanga tanya woyo mbasia tanya woyo Blessings and welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my mother singing in our native language Monday. That was so beautiful. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make pemahum. Pemahum meaning place it at the top. It's a very popular dish from the Mende tribe in Sierra Leone. This dish is not only popular because it's obviously delicious, but because of the nutritional values that it has and the healing that it brings to people. So you see me doing in the video, I'm cutting up the potato greens. This greens is specifically from sweet potatoes. So we're just roughly chopping it up because the size doesn't matter because I'm gonna steam it. It helps women who are pregnant but are struggling with anemia. It helps them produce blood. It also helps lactating mothers produce milk. So you, or if you're just genuinely struggling with anemia, this is the food to try. Eat it day and night and let it be a blessing unto you. But it's generally also very nutritious, okay? So I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of water in my pot. So today I'm gonna be using parboiled rice. You can use whatever rice you so chooses, but if you've ever used parboiled rice before, it does take longer to cook. I usually just use my rice cooker, but because I'm cooking per my home, so I have to use my pot. <laughs> it's been a long time since I cook rice on the pot, so. And I'm also using about two cups of rice and about a cup and a half of water. Now um, I'm going to add in my jaca toes. That's what it's called in Sierra Leone. I believe the English name is garden eggs. But if you Google um, African garden eggs, this particular kinds will show up. I'm adding them in with my rice and let it cook for 15 minutes. And I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see, um, my jacatozo garden eggs are not fully cooked. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit more water to the rice and let it cook a little bit more. As you can see, um, the jaca toes or garden eggs are cooked, but a little bit tender, so I'm going to pull them out now. And you can also see there is still water in the rice. That is what you want, because you don't want the rice to be fully dried up before you put your pemahun at the top, which is the greens. Um, like I said earlier, pemahun means placing it at the top, but what we're really placing at the top is the greens, the potato greens. That is the main ingredient. All the other stuff that comes into play, sometimes you can put it in with your rice and let it cook because those take longer to cook. But for me, I'm doing it a little bit backwards, but you could always add your jacatoes, your pepper, um, all that stuff to cook in with your rice. As you can see, I'm now placing my potato greens at the very top and I'm gonna add my other ingredients at the top as well. Now I'm re-adding my jaca toes onto my greens because I want them to cook a little bit more. And then I'm going to add my three habanero peppers. You can use whatever amount you prefer, but I love spice, so three is enough for me. And I'm adding my jumbo magi, a popular seasoning in cerulean. You can use salt if that is preferable to you. And then I'll add in my ogiri, which is fermented sesame seed. It helps lower cholesterol, and it's also helpful for people that, that are diabetic. 
As you saw, I created holes in my um, rice to make sure the pepper fully cook. Then I wrap my lid with some foil to let it steam cook for 15 minutes. So guys, our pimahu is fully cooked. So back home, how they usually do it, they will use the lid of the pot to blend in all the jacatos, the habanero peppers, the um, jumbo maggi, and then the ogiri. And then another thing about ogiri, traditionally ogiri was not used in Pemahu. It's recently that people started using it, so but it's still fine. But the traditional way of cooking Pemahu for us as Mende people, we do not traditionally add ogiri um in our pemahu but now we do it because it's you know a recent development i guess but it also has its own nutritional value so it's it works out well so i tried to try to blend it in on the lead but it didn't work for me so i ended up just putting it in a bowl because <laughs> that was a lot more convenient for me but if you want to have the full experience you can do what our people back home used to do okay So now I'm going to add half a cup of palm oil onto the pemahum, but you don't have to. There is an option to not add palm oil because you get the same ben benefit. It doesn't matter, but for me, I like mine with some palm oil because ooh, it tastes good. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Stay blessed.